Hi, my name is Chris, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to use DocuSign. What does DocuSign do, you might be wondering? Well, it electronically lets you sign documents in the web browser of your computer or your phone. This is important because if you didn't have access to DocuSign, if you weren't able to use your phone or computer to sign documents via DocuSign, you'd have to be physically printing the documents, signing them, rescanning them, and emailing them, which is a process that could be kind of cumbersome. This would let you do an electronic signature using your finger, and it's a lot easier and convenient. So if you so if you've been informed that a docu DocuSign document has been sent to you, go ahead and pull up your email. We have one already waiting for us in our Gmail account, so let's open the Gmail app and get to that. As you can see, my attorney via DocuSign. Please DocuSign retainer.pdf is what was sent. I'm gonna go ahead and open that email and you can see the whole docu DocuSign stuff is right here. Now you're gonna have to review the document which will then send you to a secure site for you to do this. Go ahead and tap on that and uh, it'll load up. With the document open, if it asks for any permissions to do anything, go ahead and just press allow and give permission to whatever it asks so we can move forward with the signing process. So DocuSign is loaded. We're gonna go ahead and press continue. And you can see here, here's the document. You can pinch to zoom to look around and get a better look at things. But before we begin, we're gonna do something really important that way we can make sure to see every step of the process because sometimes cell phone mobile browsers don't show you everything. We're going to press the three lines at the top of your browser. Then we're going to scroll down to the option for it, desktop site. And it will reload. Once it's reloaded, then we can begin. So it's reloaded. We're going to press continue, which it says right there. And then we're going to press start, which is over here on the left now. So it goes right down to where it wants you to sign. So where it wants you to sign right here, if you zoom in, is the signature of client. We're going to go ahead and tap on that box and you'll see a signature box come up. So name will be typed out right here. And in this case, since we're using a dummy account, John Doe, and you can select a style of signature, or you could even draw a signature if you select the draw box. So you could do John Doe like that, or select a style, and when you're done, press accept and sign. Go ahead and zoom out. And you can scroll to the top and select finish. Now it may ask you to type your signature as well. So go ahead and type that in if that's what it is asking for. So I went ahead and typed the signature. Now I'm going to scroll back up to the top and press finish. Go ahead and uh, unzoom and you see your different options available to you here. So this is the email. You can sign up for a free DocuSign account to sign your documents with, which is what you can do here. Or you can press no thanks and just do it one by one as you receive them. So, document shows that it is all done. And we did get, receive a message, so let's see what that message was. Right here, completed. I'm going to go ahead and select that message to open it up. It says, completed. Please DocuSign Retainer. Your document has been completed. All the parties have completed, and the attorney or the person who sent it to you has been notified of this completion as well. So once you've done this process, you may want to send them an email or give them a phone call just to verify that they received the DocuSign completion, and then you're all set. 
and this is how you use DocuSign to electronically sign a document.